Within a few days, a brand new 3D printer or an upgraded machine is going to hit the market. Is it going to accomplish successes? Well, let's find it out together right here on Zach React, the SOFL SUSX Plus Ace, right here. Hey, Zach here, and welcome to this video. Yeah, the SoFo SV06 Plus Ace, but where's Tent Ace 4? If you're not living in, in the US or maybe in England, I don't know where Ace is mainly being used, but in general, it stands, and I had to look it up on Google, stands for accomplish something with success. And in this case, are you getting amazing prints out of it? Is it going to hit the ball every single time when you are going to print something on this machine. Well, I don't have the machine because Sovel didn't release it yet and I also don't really know if they will ever send something to me. But I want to inform you all about this brand new 3D printer and what do I think about this machine. And so here we are, the Sovel SVO6 Plus Ace 3D printer Side. Well, the print speed of this 3D printer, 500 millimeters per second. The previous version, the normal standard plus, was 150 millimeters per second maximum. The build volume, 300 times 300 times 350 millimeters. And did you know that this one is 10 millimeters bigger or larger than the previous one? Here, check it out. Here it is, like 340 in the Z height or Z height. So you get a, a whopping one centimeter more. Hey, what about that? I'm not going to say something too mature. Well, that one centimeter, I'm not going there. Resonance compensation and pressure advanced. Yeah, so higher speed, fully automatic leveling, quick start. I guess that this 3D printer contains clipper. Yes, you heard me right. This 3D printer has clipper inside because having 500 millimeters per second print speed, well, the previous one was like 150 millimeters per second maximum. So meaning more, more or less Marlin base. Marlin is great. And I think that the people working on Marlin are also finding ways to make printers faster with normal firmware that runs on a printer. Well, dual access core metal bearings and rails. Well, the previous one, if you are looking at, at it, the SV06 and the Plus were both looking like a Prusa i3 Mark 3s Smooth rods for the Z-axis, smooth rods for the Y-axis and smooth rods for the X-axis in all three of the axes. But now they are starting to change things up. They have them, I believe, for the Y-axis and for the Z-axis, but for the X-axis, they have a little bit difference. There are still rounded curves, but it's not looking like this. They are using something more precise, more heavier. But, oh my gosh, is, is, that, is that a wire behind it? Oh, there is some Velcro tape or something like a double-sided tape behind it to hold a four ribbon kind of wire what's that for so this is the front side this is the back side i am really wondering which kind of wire that this is that's sitting behind the z-axis moving up and down efficient automatic calibration well fully automatic bat, uh, leveling bed other version had a probe which you can see here on this image like this also like the prusa i3 mark 3 s hat i think that they are still using the same probe as on the standard svo6 plus but adaptive probing meaning they only probe on this uh, on the area where the model is actually being printed and the dual z axis motors ensures efficient and stable leveling i like that type of setup oh i also see that they have a different kind of fan for the parts cooling if you know the mark 4s from prusa they have a thicker I think like 5015 fan. This one looks also way thicker than the one that they used before. This is a very thin one. Secret to more accurate printing, pressure advanced and also resonance compensation. So if you're printing higher print speeds with clipper, you always have the thing that you will see some, some lines, some fair vertical lines along the surface. That's something you don't want to have. Open source, yes. Yes, please. Yes. The previous versions, the SVU6 and the SVU6 Plus, they also had the open source. And you also see here that they have a link to their GitHub. What does that mean for you as a customer, as a consumer of this 3D printer? You can customize both hardware and software to meet specific 
needs, enabling tailored solutions and innovations. That is why open source is so important within the 3D printing community. The whole community builds on this kind of principle. The more closed source it is, the less possible innovation there would be from other companies to hook into maybe your 3D printers. Printing speeds, we already mentioned, I'm not going to mention it again. 500 millimeters per second, here you go, I did it again. A 15,000 millimeters per second square acceleration. It's it's going fast and it's not even a Core XY. Yeah, sometimes with most of the Core XY machines that does look like a certain kind of 3D printer, those are going like 20,000 millimeters per second square acceleration. That's amazing fast and it's even going crazier in the future with a separate X, Y and Z axis. Hey. 15,000 millimeters per second square. That's nice. Yeah, built-in camera. Because there is Clipper on this machine, they also use a camera. Like you can see here on this picture, this person is holding a phone and you can log into your 3D printer that runs Clipper and you can see what the printer is doing. And so far as I can see, this is a built-in camera, not an optional one. Defect detection with Obico app. So yeah, there is this little thing that you need to look up for and then install it and then use it. But you getting the possibility to actually use some advanced tools like spaghetti detection. You don't want to have any spaghetti monsters on your build plate, would you? Maybe. No, 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 no. Zach, don't go there. No, I'm not going to do that. Remote control. Yeah, of course, if you can watch your camera feed on this 3D printer with your phone, then of course you can also do some other things as well. If you do have a 3D printer with Clipper installed, you know exactly what I mean. Doesn't matter where you are within your network, maybe you can remote access without being at home. Obico app would make that maybe po even possible, but you can monitor, you can control your 3D printer with your phone or on your PC or laptop. That would be amazing. That is very nice and the, also the power of running Clipper on those kind of machines. And of course, because you have a camera, you have also time-lapse. And who doesn't like a time-lapse video of a print I mean successful going, right? We all love successful prints because, hey, this printer is called Ace. Accomplish successful actions? Yeah. Uh, I hope that the camera that they are using here is a, at least a 1080p camera so that you get some nice sharp footage that you can watch because there are some cameras installed on printers that you know you can be happy if you get some decent footage out of it oh that would be also amazing to live stream those kind of footage to twitch or to youtube right stable set access yes large printer need some rods on the back side or on the front side i don't know but basically making your Z axis more stable. And especially if you are printing in higher speeds, that bat going back and forth is going to make also the Z axis wobble more. With those rods installed on the Z axis, it reduces the vibrations going all the way through the printer. So nice, because the other one, I, I think Grandpa SVO6 Plus, if, if, if I'm looking to the picture here, do you see any rods? I don't, those rods are needed. Yeah, the uh, planetary dual gear extruder. Uh, it's something that we also have seen before. Yeah, here also the same kind of principle. So that part is still the same. But then when it comes to extrusion, higher speeds, you already see that the SV06 has a normal standard uh, E3D kind of heater block. But the SV06 Plus has a volcano type of heater block instead of the normal one that we used to see before. This already is a high flow hot end on the standard version. So I, I assume that they also have here a better hot end or a better heating solution for the faster print speeds because you can have a fast 3D printer, but if it ain't extruding, making this SV06 Plus a non-ace, you also need to have a better parts cooling fan in this case. And like I already thought, you see here also a different type of fan than uh, than we can see here. This is more like the uh, the the beefed up version of the um, Reality Anna 3. This one, the Ace, has just a bigger and better fan. Zach here. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. A 4.3 inch touchscreen. I do like the style. It looks like, you know, like you're scrolling through a book kind of thing. It's nice. 
Here, this screen, you can see uh, like the Z tilt calibration, the bed calibration, the vibration uh, compensation, and the PID calibration. Those things can help so much fine tuning your 3D printer. It's great. Yeah, filament runout detection. I recently saw this filament runout sensor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the FL7 Super Razor. 300 times 300 times 350 millimeters. Cool. Some features. So the print volume, like 300 times 300 times 350, it's way bigger than most bat slingers. Or we also get now bat slingers with a size of 400 times 400. So yeah, you can print some big, uh, amazing models. Yeah, you can print big helmets as well. Some other cool things that need a bigger print size. And like mentioned, the one centimeter that you were lacking somewhere, you have now here. And you can use it to your advantage. Closing some So features, build volume, like 300 times 300 times 300 solve volume. What are you doing? Here, you say like 300 times 300 times 350, and here we are missing five centimeters solve volume. Okay, please check your site and correct that. One of the two. I assume that the 350 is the correct one and the 300 here is a typo. So yeah, I think there are a lot of great upgrades on this 3D printer. It's an open 3D printer. They say like, hey, <laughs> support wide range of materials, PEGI, TPU, nice, because this is drag drive extruder. You can just cram that TPU right in there and it uh, will be eaten up by this 3D printer. I hope not literally, but I hope you will get some nice TPU prints on your build plate. PLA, of course, it's an open printer and ABS. Well, for the last one, small prints that are low are easily to print on, but with most ABS is one rule. You need to have an enclosure in order to print something. But hey, you can always put a cardboard box around it. So yeah, what is the price of this SVO6 Plus Ace? I think that the price would be 349 USD. That's a wild guess, but seeing like the differences between the prices, I think like 340, 350, let me know. What do you think about the SE06 Plus Ace? Hey, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. And uh, amazing thanks for these amazing supporters. You guys are amazing. Thank you.